Good morning. Namaste to each of you. Thank you for joining me this morning to honor your mind and your body and your spirit. Let's just take a moment to become um, present. Find a nice, comfortable seated position where you can sit nice and tall. Elongating back of your spine and the back of your neck. Opening up your chest. Opening up your diaphragm and opening up your heart. Doop. Gently close your eyes. And soften your thoughts. Soften your eyes. Soften your shoulders. Soften your heart. Observe your breath as it is, soft and gentle, breathing life into you with each inhale and relaxation with each exhale. Feel the grace of being present, returning to that awareness again and again. You may open your eyes now. For this morning's intention, you may think of a positive word or phrase to have with you on your mat and perhaps carry with you throughout today. This morning's intention I'd like to talk about is yin and yang. We'll start it that way. Um, so tomorrow is the Lunar New Year. Um, it begins each year on the second new moon after the winter solstice. So today actually is the new moon. And then tomorrow it starts um, waxing um, up to the full moon. Um, and the celebrations last up to that full moon for 15 days. Um, I think the, the bulk of them is for seven days, but they can last up to 15 days until the moon reaches its full state. So in honor of the new year, which includes Chinese New Year, let's touch on the Chinese Taoist philosophy of yin yang. Yin yang, yin yang, you've probably seen this symbol, um, is the study of polarities, dualism. <clears throat> Examples are night, day, cold, hot, inside, outside. These are op opposite forces, but they're also complementary, interconnected, and interdependent. Keeping your center while experiencing the polarities in life can be an intention supported by practicing yoga. Yoga, we inhale exhale in life we inhale and exhale but we also um, focus on that a lot in yoga um, our moves we're expanding and contracting all the time do du um, polarities dualities and any of those things um, helps to create harmony and balance inside of us and outside of us the perfect union which yoga means union. So for our pranayama this morning, here's one that is a calming and balancing uh, breathing technique. Um, and it, it works on two sides of your body, the left side and the right side. And it's uh, Nadi Shadana, alternate nostril breathing. Um, so the right nostril channels through your body, mostly along your spine, energy and the left nostril channels relaxation or rest. So it kind of balances you both ways. And there's, um, well, 
a technique that if you want to fall asleep, I've mentioned before that you would lie on your right side so that your left nostril is open and active. And that's the resting channel. So it, it creates space for that resting channel to work well. And if you are having trouble waking up in the morning, lie on your left side so that your right channel is open and active, and that will um, help you to activate yourself. So let's, let's do this uh, calming breathing technique, Nadi Shadana. And to do that, um, you can employ this mudra. It's a Vishnu mudra, which also is a balanced mudra. So you um, bring your fingers down and then you extend your pinky and your ring finger up. And um, to do the Nadi Shadana, it's closing off one nostril. We'll start with the thumb on the right nostril. Breathing in through the left nostril, when you reach the top of your inhale, you would close off your left nostril with your ring finger. And then ex exhale through your right nostril. Once you've reached the exhale, then you inhale through the right nostril again. And then when you reach the top of that inhale, you switch fingers, thumb to the right nostril. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Top of the inhale, switch fingers. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Top of the inhale, switch fingers. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Switch fingers, and I'm gonna have you continue that, and I'm gonna make my way back to the mat and, and continue along with you. And uh, we'll start our practice shortly. return to your normal breathing. We'll start this morning with um, some sun breaths and talking about yin and yang. Um, there are yin poses. There's also an yin yoga practice. Um, and there's, but there's poses that are yin related and poses that are um, yang related. Yang meaning warm and hot. Um, yang, <clears throat> think of the sun being yang, very hot, and the moon being the yin, very uh, cool. So um, each practice that we start with, um, I have on my sheet, warming the body. That's my first mission, is to warm us up. And uh, so we start with sun breaths, which would be yang. So let's start with our fingertips on the side and 
Inhale deeply, and you can utilize your um, Ujjayi breath, this, that soundtrack for your yoga practice. So inhale deeply through your nostrils up. And exhale, bring your hands down. And this is just great, too, to kind of start that connection with your body and your breath. So inhale up and exhale down. And we'll do one more. And then we'll go into some seated side stretches. So with your right fingertips on the mat, we send our left arm up along the side of our ear. And then we bend our right elbow down toward the mat and create a crescent moon shape. We're going to do a lot of crescent moon shape today for the Lunar New Year. We'll breathe here. Again, um, breathe deeply. If you feel that you um, are you're breathing shallow or constricted, then ease up on the pose till you find that spot where your breath is flowing nice and evenly. It has that nice balance of inhale and exhale. Then come back up. Bring your left fingertips down to the mat. Send your right arm up along your ear and then bend your left elbow down toward the mat, creating that nice crescent shape. Listening to my breath, I gotta back up a little bit. Then we'll do that again on the other side. So bring your right fingertips down, left arm goes up along side your ear, bending your right elbow toward the mat. And then back up and left fingertips come to the mat. Right arm goes up along your ear, side of your ear, and then bend your left elbow toward the mat. And then come back up. Do cobbler's pose, which um, I'm going to have quite a few modifications today. So cobbler's pose, typically you put your soles of your feet together and you can interlace your fingers around your toes or hold on to your ankles. If that's a little bit too, too tight on your um, inner thighs there, you can send your legs or feet side by side resting on the mat. You'll find what um, works for you and really check in with your body, see what works for your body. So I'm gonna do cobbler's pose. I'm gonna put my hands around my ankles, send my elbows pointing toward the knees, and I'm gonna pivot from the waist and just gently lean forward until the point where that sweet spot is. Want a little bit of stretch on my inner thighs, but I don't want any pain. And then we'll come back up, seated nice and straight and tall, and send my right leg out, bring the left foot closer to the right thigh. I'm going to do um, a side stretch. So I'm going to bring my left or my right hand to the inner part of my right knee, send my left arm up alongside my ear, and I'm going to slide my right hand down the inner part of my leg till it reaches. 
comfortable spot, maybe my foot, maybe not. Again, listening to my breath. And then I'm, I'm going to actually turn my torso so that it's facing the knee and sending my fingertips down toward my foot. And just gently breathing into that. And then walk my hands back along the mat so I can come back to a nice upright seated position. We'll do that same sequence on the other side. So starting with cobbler's pose. You're nice straight tall back and I'm going to pivot from the waist and my elbows toward the knees and come to that sweet spot. Sending my gaze out ahead. And then bring my uh, torso back up nice and straight, tall, and send my left leg out, bring the sole of my right foot closer to the left thigh. Placing the back of my left hand on the inner part of my left knee, and send the right arm up to my ear and slide my left hand down toward my foot. Just revolve head to knee. Come to that sweet spot. And it's different on this side for me than it is on the other side. I don't have quite the reach. And then I'm gonna twist my torso toward my knee so my eyes are looking at my knee. And gently breathe into that. And then walk my hands along the mat back up. So I'm seated up nice, and straight, and tall. Then we're going to come on to our hands and knees. Come up to tabletop. Tabletop with our hands spread wide apart, fingers spread wide apart. Index finger pointing up toward the top of the mat. Navel's tucked to the spine. Knees are right below the hips. And we'll do a few cat cows here. So exhaling, rounding our back, dropping our head and tailbone down. And then for cow, we're gonna send our head and gaze up and look straight ahead. So our head and our tailbone are up. And then exhale, rounding our back, sending our head and tailbone down. Inhale deeply, raising your head up to cow. Continue on at your own pace here. Really deep, deep breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Coordinating the, those breaths with your moves. And come back to tabletop with your <clears throat> backs nice and um, flat. And we're going to kick, like kickstand our left foot outside of the mat to the left. 
and then send our right foot down to the bottom of the mat. Come into a modified plank pose. Our left hand, left wrist is right below our left shoulder. And then we're going to take our right hand, sweep it from the mat all the way up to the sky, following it with our gaze. And then bring it back down on the exhale. Do that a couple more times. Inhale, sweeping your hand up. And exhale, bringing your hand back down. And then inhale, sweep your hand up. And then while it's up there, you're going to actually have your right hand pulled up by some mysterious force bringing yourself up onto your knee. And then we're gonna place our right hand where our right knee is and bring our left arm over. And this is gate pose. Make a crescent shape with gate pose. And then bring our left hand back down to the mat. Come back to tabletop. We're going to bring our left knee or our left foot actually between our hands. So gently guide your, um, not your left foot, your right, hand, right foot between your hands. So gently bring your right foot so that's between the hands. And we're going to um, turn our toes under on our left foot and come into runner's lunge. And just kind of put yourself into a good runner's lunge position. Your knee is over your ankle. Your left leg's nice and straight and strong. Heels pushing to the back of the mat. And then we're gonna bring that right, our left knee back down to the mat. Put the top of your left foot back down on the mat. We're gonna do a few half monkeys. So the half monkey, two, two variations on this. The first one, those are gonna ride our leg down. So we're going to keep our chest connected to our thigh, our right thigh, and straighten out our right leg. And just kind of ride it down, bringing our head to our knee. And then inhale, come back up. We'll do that two more times. So straightening out your right leg, Riding your thigh down, bringing your head toward your knee. And then bringing your, inhaling, bringing your leg back up. And one last time. Straightening out the leg, bringing your head toward the knee. You, and always keep a little bit of a bend in your knee. Never lock it up fully. And then inhale, come back up. And then the second variation is we're going to walk our hands back as we straighten out our right leg. And this one is the important part is flexing your toes up to the sky. Really work on flexing that foot so the toes are reaching toward the sky. And then walk our hands back. We'll do that two more times. So walk our hands back so that you're pivoting on your heel, flexing your toes up toward the sky. And walk your hands back. And one last time. Walk your hands back down toward the bottom of the mat, flexing your toes up toward the sky. Really feeling that activate the back of your leg there. Hamstrings, back of the calf. So we're gonna bring that leg back, come back to tabletop. We'll do that on the other side. So we're gonna kickstand from tabletop, kickstand your right foot out off the mat. Send your left leg down to the bottom of the mat. Your right wrist is right below your right shoulder. And then we'll sweep our hand up from the mat all the way up toward the sky. 
following your hand with your eyes. And then exhale, bringing that hand back down. Sweep your hand again on a big inhale. Following your hand with your eyes. And then bring your hand back down. And bring your hand up one more time. And while it's up there, have that invisible helper bring you, maybe the man in the moon will help you bring that yourself up onto your knee. And then bring your left hand to your left knee, right arm makes a nice crescent shape. It's a modified gate pose. And then bring that back down to tabletop. And we're gonna bring our left foot between our hands. So guide your left foot up and then come into runner's lunge so that you can really get that positioning comfortable for you. So your knees right over your ankle, back leg is nice and straight, pushing the heel back. And then bring that knee down, your right knee down, top of your right foot down. And we'll do a few half monkeys, the two variations. So we're gonna ride our thigh down, bringing our head toward our knee. And then inhale, come back up again. And ride your thigh back down, head toward the knee. Inhale, come back up again. And gently one more time. Straightening out that left leg, riding it down, head to knee. And then inhale, come back up. And this time we're gonna walk our hands back as we straighten out our left leg, pivoting on our heel, flexing our toes up toward the sky. And then walk our hands back toward our foot. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, walking our hands back. Pivoting on the heel, pointing the toes up toward the sky, activating the back of the leg there. And then walking our hands back to the foot. And one last time, walk your hands away from your foot, straightening out your left leg, flexing the toes up toward the sky. And then come back. Bring your left foot back so that you're in tabletop again. And then we'll lower our hips to our ankles for a nice, gentle child's pose, stretching out your hands in front of you if you like, or you can wrap them around your torso, whatever feels comfortable. Take a few moments, nice deep breaths. Then come back up to tabletop. We'll tuck our toes under, walk our hands back, come into a squat position. And we'll push down in our toes, come up to mountain pose. We'll go through our mountain essentials for good posture. So our big toes are facing the straight edge of our mat. We 
lift up your front toes, your toes, and spread them as wide as you can, and bring them back down to the mat, lifting your heels up off the mat, and then bring them back down to the mat. Really feel that connection to the earth. Our legs are nice and straight and strong. There's a gentle bend in our knees. Navel's tucked to our spine, creating a nice, long, straight back. Relaxing our shoulders, rolling them back, opening up our chest. Our chin is slightly tucked toward our chin, our chest rather, and the crown of our head reaches up to the sky. We'll sweep our hands up with a big inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna bring our hands down to the floor, down to the mat, bending our knees as we go to support our lower back. And as we reach the floor, we'll just do a quick check-in, see how everything feels so far. See if you can send some nourishing breaths to any place that might feel in need of it. And then inhales, bringing our hands to our shins, flattening out our back, sending our gaze straight down to the floor, half forward fold. And then dropping the crown of our head toward the floor, forward fold, and just hang here, let gravity enhance this pose for you. And inhale, sweeping your hands from the floor all the way up overhead. We're gonna come up onto our tippy toes and come into palm tree here. So you can either stretch your hands up toward the sky or just let them gently wave here. And the idea is to keep on your tippy toes to try to, to uh, lock in balance. Feel how your balance is today. And then lower your heels and we'll sweep our hands back down to the floor, down to the mat. The inhale, bringing them up to the shins, flattening out our back, sending our gaze down. And then sending the crown of our head down. And just let our head dangle here for a few moments. And then sweep our hands all the way up from the mat all the way up overhead. And we're going to do some side stretches today that um, you would take your right hand, wrap it around your left wrist, and we're going to tip to the right. So you're kind of almost pulling gently, <laughs> you're pulling your left arm over to create that crescent shape. And then inhale, come back up. Switch hands so your left hand goes around your right wrist. And we'll send that right hand over to the left. And inhale, come back up. We'll do that one more time on both sides. Right hand around the left wrist. Send your left fingertips over to the left or right side of the mat. Inhale, come back up. And left arm or left hand around your right wrist. Send your right fingertips over to the left side of the mat. Inhale, come back up. And sweep your hands all the way down to the floor, bending your knees as you go, supporting your lower back. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins, 
flattening out your spine. Gaze goes down toward the floor. And then send the crown of your head down toward the floor. And then we're going to put both hands on the floor, bending our knees deeply, and we're going to come into a squat position. We're going to do a few multiple squats here. So with your hands on the floor, you should be in a squat position where you're on the balls of your feet. Your heels are lifted off the mat. And we're going to bring our heels down to the mat, straightening out our legs again, keeping a gentle bend in the knees, sending our head down. So they're forward folds, but they're intentional with the squat in the middle of them. So come back down to the squat. Heels are lifted, and then we're gonna send the heels down to the mat, straightening out our legs, coming into a forward fold. Then inhale, bending our knees, coming back to the squat. And we'll do that one more time. Bring the heels back down to the mat, straightening our legs, bringing the crown of our head down toward the floor. And then sweep our hands from the mat all the way up overhead. Palms come together. Palms come to heart center. And palms come to the back of your hips for supported back bend. So your feet are about hip width apart. The fingers are pointing down, palms are on the back of your hips. Your shoulders are really relaxed and rolled back. Chin is tucked toward your chest. And we'll just drop our shoulders back for support back. And find that sweet spot where your breath is nice and even and flowing. And then inhale, come back up. How's everyone doing? So the next portion, we talked about warming up with the Yang exercises. Um, and that section there, I, I always label it called Pathway to the Peak. And then this next section, I always label Exploring the Peak. And the, today's peak is doing the salutation for the moon. We are very familiar with sun salutations, but we don't often do moon salutations. And the moon being a yin character, it's supposed to be very calming and relaxing. Some of the poses, I'm not sure if they're that relaxing, but um, in practicing it yesterday, it does have kind of a meditative um, rhythm to it because you're doing this full circle type of exercise. It just, it, it's very symmetrical. Um, so that in itself is, is really lovely. So we're going to start and I'm going to have a few modifications in this. So um, start on the left side of your mat. And if you're able to, because we're going to the whole sequence goes this way on the long side of the mat. So if you're able to um, change your mat so you're, you're more comfortable in viewing, that, that would be maybe a good thing. We're going to start on the left side of our mat. Sweep our hands up overhead. Palms come together. And we're going to lean to the left. Come back to center, lean to the right. Come back to center and do a very gentle back bend. Just send your hands back just a little bit. And then we're gonna send our right foot out into a wide-legged stance. Our toes are pointing to the corners of the mat. Heels are tucked in 45 degree angle. we we'll come into a star shape. And then into goddess. So we're going to bend our knees and bend our elbows and come down. And then come back up to star. 
and then lower our arms to shoulder height. You could then do triangle pose. So you would pivot your left foot toward the right, pivot the right foot to the top of the mat. And we're gonna send, well, let me show you the modification first. So this, this would be the modification if you don't wanna do um, triangle. I would go into extended side angle, bringing your right arm to your right leg and sending your arm straight up. You could do that. So again, we're back pivoting. Those who would like to do triangle, we're gonna reach forward, send our hands down, right hand down to the right foot, sending our left hand up toward the sky, sending our gaze up to our left hand if that's comfortable. Next pose is pyramid pose. So let me show you the modification for that first. I would bring your left hand down, come into runner's lunge, and then come into the half monkey that we did. So you'll be, your left knee will be on the mat, right leg will be extended, and you could bring your head down toward the knee. So we'll do that for the modification. Those of you who would like to do pyramid pose, just um, from um, triangle, you bring both hands down to the mat. Your back foot comes a little bit closer to your right foot, your front foot, and you bend, have that soft bend in your right knee, bringing your head down toward your knee for pyramid pose. Next pose is gonna be a low lunge with half crescent for those who are already in the modification. You can stay there. Those who aren't, bring your back knee down to the mat. Make sure that your knee, your right knee is right over your right ankle. And we push down into our right foot, sweeping our hands up, coming into a nice gentle, crescent shape, back bend. And make it your own. Remember that phrase, doing any part of the pose is doing the pose. So bring your hands back down. The next pose is to do a uh, squat, one-legged squat. So we're gonna pivot our right foot toward the long side of the mat, come up on our left foot. Our left foot will have its toes pointing up to the sky. So that this is a one-legged half squat or one-legged squat. And then we're gonna move to the middle. So you can either, this is a modification, you can either be in wide-legged stance, toes again pointing to the corners, and your hands down, so it's a forward fold, wide, wide legged stance. Or if you're able to, you can come into a squat here. We love wide legged squat, it's really wide legged. And then we're gonna continue on moving to the left, coming into a one legged squat on the other side. Right toes are pointing up to the sky. And then we're gonna come into that low lunge crescent. So we're gonna pivot our left foot and our back of our right foot into runner's lunge and then bring your knee down, right knee down to the mat. And then pushing down in our front foot, lifting our arms up to the sky and back a little bit for a nice soft crescent shape. And then bring our hands back down. Those who'd like the modification, you can do your half monkey here. Or those who would like to do a pyramid, you can bring your back foot up toward your front foot at a 45 degree angle, 
and do the pyramid pose, bringing your head toward the knee. And then triangle pose, you can either do the modification of side, um, extended side angle, thank you. And then um, for those who would like to do the triangle, you do the, from here, Send your right hand up for triangle pose. And then we're going to have that mysterious person lift our hand up, coming up to a standing position, coming into wide legged stance again. Toes are pointing to the corners. Come into star. And then bending our knees and our elbows, coming to goddess. Inhale, come back up. Bring your right foot to your left foot. You're gonna come back to where we started. Hands come together, palms come together. We're gonna do a slight back bend by bringing our hands toward the back. Come back up straight, send our hands to the right, come back up straight, and send our hands to the left, come back up straight, and then hands to heart center. So that's one full cycle. So let's try it again. Again, you can modify or not, whatever works for you. Any part of the pose is doing the pose. So catch your breath, we'll do it again. So starting on left end of the mat, bring our hands up overhead, palms come together, crescent shape to the left, back to center, crescent shape to the right, back to center, crescent shape backwards, and come back to straight. Bring our right foot out into a wide-legged stance. Toes are pointing to the corners of the mat. Heels are tucked in 45 degree. Come to a star shape. We bend our elbows and our knees to goddess. Come back up to star. We're gonna come into triangle pose or extend side angle. So bringing our arms to shoulder height, pivoting our feet to the right. I'm gonna go for triangle pose. I'm extending my hand out and down, lifting my left hand up to the sky, sending my gaze up. And you can do that with the extended angle. And then next, bring the left hand down. Modification would be the half monkey, so you bring your knee down. Or we could do the pyramid pose. Just bring the back foot up toward the front foot, angling at a 45 degree angle, and sending your head toward your knee. And then we're gonna bring our back leg, our left leg down to the mat, so the knees on the mat, low lunge. Sweeping our hands up to the sky, creating a crescent shape. And then bringing it back down. Coming into one-legged squat. So we're gonna come up to runner's lunge and then pivot our right foot to the long edge of the mat, and the knees pointing to the long edge of the mat. Left legs fully extended, toes are pointing up to the sky. And then we'll walk our hands toward the center. And you can either stay here, wide-legged stance, forward fold, or come into a squat.
and then walk over to the left, come into a one legged squat on the left side, right toes are pointing up to the sky. And then we're going to pivot our front foot and our back foot coming into runner's lunge and then lowering our back leg to low lunge. Sweep our hands up to the sky for present shape. And then bring our hands back down to the mat. Next would be the um, pyramid pose, or if you'd like, you could do the half monkey. So we're gonna come up on our back foot, angled toward the front foot, head reaching toward the knee. And then triangle pose or extended right angle sweeping our hand from the floor all the way up to the sky, following it with our gaze. And then have that hand pull you up, coming into wide-legged squat, or wide-legged stance, with your toes pointing to the corners, bringing your hands up to star shape, then bending your elbows and your knees down to goddess. And then back up. Bring your right foot to your left foot. Hands come together. We're gonna send our hands back just a little bit for back support, well, unsupported back bend. And then over to the right back up straight and then over to the left, back up straight and then hands to heart center. Shall we do that just one more time? Just quickly. So start on the left side, sweep our hands up overhead, bend to the left, bend to the right, Back to center, slight back bend. Come into wide-legged stance, coming into star. Lowering down into goddess. Come back up to star, lowering your arms to shoulder height, pivoting your feet to do triangle or extended side angle. And then bring your hands down, coming into pyramid, bringing your, your back foot up a little bit or modification into half monkey. And down into low lunge, bringing your left knee to the mat. Sweep your hands up, bring you to the sky, creating a nice crescent shape. Bring them back down. Coming into a one-legged squat. So coming into runner's lunge and then pivot your toes toward the long edge. Left toes are pointing up to the sky. Walk our hands to the center, either wide-legged stance, forward fold, or bringing it down to a squat. Hands back down, continue your journey to the left. One-legged squat, right toes pointing up to the sky. Then pivot into 
your low lunge and sweep your hands up to the sky. And then bring them back down. Then we'll come up to pyramid pose or half monkey. And then to triangle pose or extended side angle. And then lifting up, coming into wide legged stance, coming into star, bending your knees and elbows, coming into goddess, coming back up. Right leg comes over to meet the left leg, palms come together. Back bend is slight. Come back up straight. Sweep over to the right. Move straight. And then over to the left. Come up straight. Hands to heart center. You did it. That's the moon salutations. So we'll bring our toes to the edges of the mat and just lower our torso down to the mat, wide-legged stance. And then bring our seat down to the mat. And we'll roll down to the mat, either um, express method or you can go the slower way. Either way, just feel that vertebrae as you go down. You bring your knees to your chest and give them a nice gentle hug. And we'll draw big circles with our toes. Although we can't see the new moon tonight, we know it's there and it's circular, as is the sun, as is the yin yang symbol. So much is circular. That moon sequence had a nice symmetry to it. And then you can reverse the direction of your toes. Have that connection with your lower back to the mat so your back lower back gets that nice massage. And bring your knees to your chest, extend your arms out to shoulder height. Drop your knees to the right side. And then slowly, gently turn your head to the left to look at your left fingertips. Inhale, bringing your head back to center. Inhale, lift your legs back to center. And then drop your legs to the left side on the exhale. And then slowly turn your head to the right. Look at your right fingertips. Inhale, bring your head back to center. Inhale, lift your legs back to center. And then extend them to the bottom of the mat, preparing for Shavasana. Heels go to the corners. Just relax your feet. Relax your knees. Relax your waistline, your hips. Relax your shoulders, let them melt into the mat. Relax your, your jaw and your chin. 
place a gentle smile upon your lips. So we've been celebrating the Lunar New Year. So this year, 2023, it's the year of the water rabbit. And any person who was born in 1939, 1951, 1963, 1975, 1987, 1999, 2011, and this year, 2023, your traits are that you're talented and affectionate and you are a seeker of tranquility. This year in particular, the symbol being water rabbit, it's the symbol of longevity, peace and prosperity and thought to be very hopeful. So happy new year, everyone. <laughs>